Today on Engineering Newswire, we're using smartphones to prove that I'm clinically depressed, firing an F-35 Gatling gun, and... And... Pluto! I mean, smartphones, am I right? Little things can pretty much do everything. Well now, they can even tell if you're depressed using sensor data combined with the number of minutes you spend on the phone and your daily geographic location. According to researchers at Northwestern University, the more time you spend using your phone, the more likely you are to cry inside, or I mean, be depressed. The average daily usage for depressed individuals was about 68 minutes, while non-depressed individuals, it was about 17. And I tell you what, I'm on that thing for hours. <laughs> Spending most of your time at home and most of your time in fewer locations, as measured by GPS tracking, are also linked to depression. And having a less regular day-to-day -day schedule, leaving your house and going to work at different times each day, for example, also linked to depression. All sad, tears, sad. Based on the phone sensor data, Northwestern scientists identified depressive symptoms with 87% accuracy. The research could ultimately lead to monitoring people at risk of depression and enabling healthcare providers to intervene more quickly. Last week, test pilot Major Andrew Rollins test fired 10 rounds on the F-35's 22mm externally powered Gatling gun. Produced by General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems, the gun was developed for both the internal and external F-35 gun systems. The four-barrel gun is a derivative of the five-barrel 25mm gun, which was also developed and built by General Dynamics. However, the new gun is more than 40 pounds lighter, weighing in at 230 pounds, and has a 20% smaller volume. To ensure a long barrel and breech life, each of the gun's four barrels has a breech bolt assembly that fires once per gun revolution. This distributes the heat and firing forces over all of the barrels and breech positions. A continuous rotary motion also reduces the impact loads on the gun's components to extend the lifetime of the various parts. Which is good, because this thing can fire up to 3,300 shots per minute and has an average recoil force of 3,700 pounds. The gun can be configured to mount in either the F-35A internal gun system installation or the F-35BC missionized gun pods and could also be used on land and sea platforms against a variety of targets. We all know that earlier this week, New Horizons made its closest approach to Pluto. Capturing the most detailed image of the planet ever. Well, last night, the spacecraft phoned home for the first time since making its historic flyby. Which took nine years. And three billion miles to complete. Team members at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland, cheered as they received the flyby confirmation. Some more than others. I mean, you literally just made history. You could look a little more excited. Where's the champagne? Just a lot of firm handshakes. Jim, Bob. Oh, we just re went to Pluto. That is a fantastic development. And do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode for the PD&D channel. I'm David Manti and I cry a lot at night. <laughs> <laughs>